What is going on guys? My name is Baron or Developer B and welcome back to episode 17 of the Bucky Coding tutorial series. And in this episode, I'm going to start part one of the part two series on advanced configuration files. So in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to create a custom configuration class that creates a one configuration file but with a unique name that you can create rather than using a config.yml. You could call it config.yml, but we are going to rename it for the warps plugin and call it warp.yml. And pretty much this class is going to rename it and make it a little bit easier to use configuration files using some built-in methods in the configuration that we're gonna put in this other class. So I will show you that right now. Let's go ahead and create a new class over here. And we are going to call this config manager. And we are going to be put in here. And pretty much what we are going to do with this class is this is going to be our configuration manager, obviously, for our configuration file. So we are actually going to make this a singleton. And pretty much what that means is we are going to make it have one instance and no other instances can be created. So pretty much you cannot create multiple versions of this class there's only going to be one version and that is what we're making right now so we have that and that's pretty much just going to set up our basic constructor it's going to have nothing inside of it and we are actually going to call a private static config manager and we are going to call this instance and this is our one instance of this class and then we can call this instance by just creating that automatically generated method called get instance and that's going to allow us to access this class and pretty much it is only going to be one instance obviously so everything just comes from inside of this class and can't be created multiple times so let's go ahead and get into this now we're actually going to create a few things so we're going to have a private file file and a private file configuration config and pretty much the file is the java version of this so it's pretty much just creating a regular file just a flat file and this turns it into a configuration file using the bucket api so now let's go ahead and go down here and let's start coding some stuff so pretty much we are going to create a public void setup and what this is going to do is this is going to set up our file and everything. So we can just go ahead and create this. Let's go ahead and go down a little bit so we can have some space. Actually, I'll go down right here so we can have some space. There we go. So right in here, we are going to pretty much set this up by saying if plugin dot get data folder dot exists so we're saying if it doesn't exist and we are calling on this plugin because we are going to take this main class as our plugin so we're just going to set this up in the on enable and we are checking if this plugins directory exists so the directory if i show you in here really fast is pretty much right here these are the directories and we're checking if this is created or not and we're saying if it isn't created, then we're going to make it ourselves. So we're going to say plugin dot get data folder dot make directory or MKDIR is the name. And we're pretty much going to make this directory. And yeah, so after that directory is made, now we can start putting files inside of this directory. So we are going to set our file to a new file. And it's going to be in this data folder. So we're going to put this file inside of the data folder. And then we are going to specify the name of the file. So we're just going to call this warps.yml. That's what it's going to be. So now we have a custom created YML file. And we're going to check and see if this file exists. This doesn't create the file, just sets it up. So it doesn't actually create the file inside of the folder. So we're going to check if it doesn't exist, then we're going to go ahead and create it. And we need to make this a try and catch because this uh, method that we're about to call is going to throw an IO exception. So we're just going to call it EX, I guess. 
we're gonna say ex.printStackTrace in case something goes wrong. And we can say file.create new file. And that will create our file. And if it does exist, then it's just not gonna create this over and over again. So yeah, now we can go ahead and set our config up. We're just gonna set it to yml configuration dot load configuration file. So this is this all this is gonna do is pretty much load this file as a configuration file. So now we have our file set up and ready for configura configuration use. And that's pretty much it for this setup. And we are actually just going to create some methods, some wrapper methods that come from the configuration. So it's easier than saying, uh, what's an example? Than saying configuration manager dot get instance dot get config or whatever. We're just going to go ahead and make these because that's the only way we're going to access them. So let's go ahead and say public void save. Let's just create that first. And pretty much what this is going to do is we're just, this is going to save the config. So we can just say try and config dot save file. And that is going to save the file. And we're going to catch this with an IO exception. E. Yes, so <laughs> I was making sure that was right. I didn't know what that threw. So there we go. We are going to save the configuration file like so. And now we can create some other ones like set is a useful one, which is string path to object value. And that is just going to be config.set path to value. Basic stuff. We're just restating this inside of this class. So it's called a wrapper method. And we can go down here and say public object, like so object get string path and we can return config.get path. And this is going to pretty much signify this. As you can see, it's an object method. So we are setting this as object get and stuff like that. And we can, we can create all of these. We can also create a contains because I know that we use that a lot. So you could say boolean contains of string path and then we could say return config dot contains path and pretty much like that. So I'm pretty sure we're done with this. We don't really need any other methods right now. So let's go ahead and try this thing out. So if we go in here, we can actually, actually we're gonna do this up here really fast, new config manager, just so we set it equal to that new one. And we can go into warps and we can actually go ahead and remove this config and just create our new one. Config manager .get instance .set up, up this. And this is pretty much going to set up our configuration manager and set up all of this stuff inside of here. So now we can go down here and replace all this get config stuff with our config manager stuff. So let's go down here. We can just say config manager .get instance .set we can actually just copy and paste this all down here. And we can go down here and say config manager .get instance save. That'll save our config. And we can do the same thing right here, except use git, but we're actually going to do this right now. So right here, we can actually use our contains method. So we can say config manager .get instance .contains, .contains this and we can, so if it equals null, that means we're going to say this. So if the config manager does not contain this, then we can say that, and that will signify that. And we can go down here and say config manager dot get instance dot get, and we can actually do this. So instead of saying get double, we all we have to do is pretty much cast it to double. And we can go ahead and copy and paste this. And then down here, we can, all we have to do is copy and paste this because we have already casted it. And there we go, we are done with that. And we can actually go up here and say this, and then cast it to string like so. And there we go, we are now done with this. So let's go ahead and build this and see what happens. So let's go to build a uh, warps and 
build that. So there we go. All right, let's go ahead and head into Minecraft. So here we are in Minecraft. Let's go ahead and reload this and see what happens. So there we go, we reloaded the server. Let's go ahead and actually go in here. And there we go. So as you can see, Warps is clearly there and it created it inside of the data folder and Warps is clearly in here. Let's go ahead and try and set up a Warp and see what happens. So let's go ahead and go over here. We could say slash help Warp, see what we got. So set Warp. Let's go ahead and set a Warp right here and say test. And as you can see, it successfully added a new warp test. And we can go to our configuration file right here. And as you can see, it created our warp nice and easy as we used a normal config. So thank you guys for watching. That was the first episode of the advanced configuration files. And next episode, part two, is going to be creating multiple configuration files. So it's going to be a little bit more advanced. I hope you guys are ready for that, and I will see you guys there.